hello guys welcome to this tutorial on how to draw a sort of a minecraft cartoon icon and you can use this for many things you could use it as your youtube um, icon if you look at my icon um, if this is fairly newish I might have changed it by now I don't know but I have my character as my icon so here are a few that I did um, I've done for the end friendly team just just um, done a bunch of cartoons for those guys as you can see and then here's mine like the first one I ever did I mean it's not too difficult as you can see I've made a mistake there with the different color but oh well that'll be fine um, it is like I say pretty easy to do it's not not much difficulty involved uh, my favorite being this one gotta admit it does look <laughs> a lot better than the rest that I've done just because of the amount of stuff he has on his face I think and the beard makes it look epic as well <laughs> anyways uh, you're gonna need this this will be the link to download this is for Photoshop as well by the way so I'm gonna be telling you how to do it on Photoshop uh, I don't know how to do it on anything else because I don't use anything else so here here's Photoshop um, yeah it will, it will be a link in the description to download this frame here it'll be a frame and the image size will be 2000 by 2000 and that's this is this is basically what you need to start off with now these are going to be here you can ignore those those don't really matter I've just hidden those I just like to keep them all on the same file um, so we're going to um, go ahead and we need to get the face of whatever Minecraft character we're doing first so we're not going to just like make it up obviously we're going to convert it from one to another so we're going to go up and open up a skin right so what we need to be doing is we need to be cutting out where the face is so I mean the way you're sort of doing that is this bit here will be the top of the leg you have, you'll have four along here and then like where the head ends and then another four and then up from the end one we're just going to get that and then select all of that this is the select tool by the way and then we're going to just control and X maybe that doesn't work on uh, Max you, you could just rub it out though with using the rubber tool and rub out what you've selected um, and then from the top just all the top bits nice and easily gone and then from where your sort of necky area ends here you can see just sort of four along the end one from the four and goodbye to that also you might want to get rid of the shoes and stuff so you just got your head here it should be one two three four five six seven eight by eight eight by eight pixels so once you got that obviously some people like to have another layer on top of it so you're just going to select that bit copy and then drag that over and now he has glasses look so yeah this is the character we're going to be um, making into a cartoon I've got it right here so what we're going to do we're going to zoom in as much as you can and you're going to hit print screen print screen is usually towards the top right of your keyboard it's like P R T S C and then underneath it says S Y S R Q you're going to go ahead and press that then we're going to go back onto this page here we're going to paste it and it should come up with our like whole page here um, and we're going to zoom in towards the head and now you can see that the head is now more than just one pixel we actually made it bigger and like a re really easily done so so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and select all of this like that make sure you get the right bit of pixel just the top corner where that pixel is and go down to the bottom right here I want to control and C control and V and then we're gonna just delete the layer before that so all that disappears and we just got a head now now with this head what you can do is just stretch it to the size it shouldn't look all blurred or anything like that it should just look fine uh, if you can't see these uh, you might want to make sure that you have um, on the arrow show transform controls you can see that that makes those appear and disappear so you might have that unticked make sure that's ticked if you wanna just 
go ahead and stretch it out. Anyways, that's that bit done. Now this is the bit where we actually start drawing onto the cartoon. Uh, we're gonna go ahead. This will be default the rectangle tool, or maybe another one of those if you use one of those. But what you do, you just click and hold, and then you go down to the line tool. Um, once you got the line tool selected, you can see up here. Make sure the color, this color, not the one down here. This color up here is black. So I want that to be black. The weight of this should be 20, and that should give you a, the right size for what we need for this tutorial. So once we've got that, we're going to be um, sort of drawing around him now, drawing around what we've got on here. So for example, the hair. The hair is a little bit different. Um, instead of just drawing like that, literally going around him, you can do that if you want. I don't think it'll look bad but there is a better way of doing it so, so if you've got hair you could add some spikes to it like just some spike effects make sure you don't go into too much detail with this so it'll lose its minecraft look and it'll just look like a random cartoon character so here I'm just adding some spikes to my character he's just he's just chilling and this, these spikes going to go all the way along his head. Um, I know what you're thinking. You can, like, you can see little gaps in between here. That will all be sorted out sooner or later. Uh, just make sure you watch the whole tutorial. And everything should look pretty good at the end. If you do it right. It's not difficult as well. Really not difficult to do. Bam. So, this is his hair. If we just, well, yeah, on the layers you'll see there's there's loads of these shape, 33 shape whatever number. Um, so you're just gonna select the top one that's on the layers list. So it goes blue in the background, and then scroll down, all the way down to the bottom one. You can see this shape one. Um, you're gonna just sh press and hold shift, and then click on shape one, and then they all should be selected like that. That's you need to make sure you have the top one selected, and then go down to the bottom one, and then shift and click, and they should all be selected. And then you just want to go ahead and control, and then the letter E, and that should put them all into the same layer, and that'll be good and good and good. So now we can just sort of have a look what it looks like without it. So if you see this eye next to the layer of your actual face that we're drawing around you can just press the eye and that that'll like sort of hide and you can see that the hair looks pretty good pretty natural and pretty spiky looking uh, so that's the exact sort of look we wanted um, and yeah we can continue off now make like we should check to see if that works that looks fine so now we've got the glasses on my character you might have completely different things I'm just gonna like go by my character show you little things that you can do to make it look more more than just the pixels that it is. So the glasses, the glasses at the top will have to be just glasses at the top. Just a straight line. Can't really do much to the top of the glasses. Uh, but then the eyes, the eyes, just pretend this is eyes. If you haven't got glasses on your character, this will just work for like whatever you've got. So we're gonna just do an not quite the level of the pixel, just about that. So so it's sort of towards the center. If you can see that. I'm gonna let go and then for the corners we're just gonna drag it short like that and then drag it along and as you can see this makes more of a rounded look but not completely round that's important because like I say I keep saying that it keeps the look of a minecraft character just there so it's not completely gone and it looks good in the end Right, so I've just drawn around both eyes here, as you can see, and then inside you can see this goes over and then you've got your pupil. Just do the same, but for the inside of it, so it's sort of a rounded effect. And as you can see, that's the pupil. And you do that for the other eye, make sure it's rounded sort of look going on here. Uh, that one looks a bit dodgy, that doesn't it? Let's just undo that. Do it from here. 
and then from there to the top and there we go that's our sort of eyes there they're done they're looking good um, now I, I need to be doing the bottom of the glasses which can be done just like this just nice and easily uh, like I keep referring to make sure you keep the minecraft look into it I might sound like a knobhead constantly <laughs> saying that but if you don't do that it might not have the same effect and it might just like I say look like a random cartoon character maybe that's what you want you go ahead but I like to keep it so it does look a little like the minecraft character you started off with so I've done the eyes now as you can see I've done it slightly some sort of diagonal lines on here to give it more of a cool look instead of it just following the pixels and then there's a the mouth the mouth usually looks like this or maybe something else just white maybe at the bottom but you're going to, going to want to like do it around here and not really follow what the mouth is you're going to just like obviously where the position is but then you're going to go short here and then that will be that and then you're going to go diagonal back up to that bit so you've got some sort of wonky rectangle here going off and that'll be what it looks like and that should be what it look like looks like then you're gonna want to go ahead and merge all these together again like say select the top shape here and then go down towards the bottom uh, shift click and control and E and then you you should have two different line layers you can go to the top one Control and E and that should go down and merge into it and then you can just hide this one again the background and you should see a slight look of your minecraft character going on like like here it looks it looks good so this is where you sort of get rid of all the juggedy edges like this you can see that they're all just lines this is where you get rid of that you're gonna double click this shape or if that doesn't do anything go up to layer layer style and stroke and then you're gonna wanna like it says default 3 you're gonna wanna turn that up to 17 so it'll be 17 and then you can see this now looks smooth it looks good um, some of your lines might look a bit silly uh, if you go into too much detail this can look a bit daft this stage but overall it gets rid of all the little juggers you can see them slightly but obviously it's a little icon that you're going to be using this for maybe a bit bigger than that sometimes but it looks pretty good and it hides away all that extra stuff so that's that and we're not going to just go into the coloring straight away we're going to actually create a new layer that's this one here next to the bin and then we're going to select the top with the stroke on and we're going to control on E and that should get rid of the actual stroke effect itself so this is literally the lines and yeah it, it does something but you don't really have to worry about exactly what it does you just need to make sure you do it um, I've just told you how so don't panic about that one right see this outline here we're gonna get that right click and duplicate duplicate the layer and then we're gonna just control and E with this selected and the outline underneath control and E and that will give the border of the image so if you hide the outline now it will look the same so that's good that's what we want right we're gonna unhide that so we need the colors here and we're going to select the colors now I'm not going to select from this you can but I seem, I seem to have found like the perfect colors on this guy so I'm just gonna select from that guy but yeah you just get this um, what's it called the eyedropper tool it looks like this you're just gonna get it and you're gonna click on the skin and it should select that bit of color for you now you're gonna go onto the paint bucket tool the paint bucket tool is default this sort of gradient square you're just gonna like I say click an old and then go to the paint bucket tool and then you should just click where the skin goes and it will automatically fill it in and it looks good so that's good I'm gonna go into all the little bits that you might have missed and cool that looks good if you hide that you can see that the skin is now colored in and that that's uh, what you want and you need the color in the hair you need color in all the bits that you need 
some people might have a lot of colours on their skin, it doesn't really matter. Um, you should just work fine. I found that not doing a perfect, oh god, that's all gone grey. I found not doing a perfect sort of black colour can really make it look good. Uh, obviously that's a little bit blue for some reason. So let me just undo that. Uh, paper bucket. When it's the hair, don't do it perfectly jet black. Do it slight, like a really, really dark grey, and then you can still see the outlines perfectly, and that makes it look a little bit better. Um, and then obviously, if uh, that's black, I'll do the pupils the same, and the glasses are white. So I'm not gonna do it jet white. I'm just gonna do it sort of a grey colour. Ta -da. And then the pupils are probably going to be really white. Not the pupils. <laughs> the outside bit. <laughs> the white bit. Right, so that's that done. And you should have a lot of things coloured in now apart from the mouth. And it'll look a bit weird when you hide that. Don't worry about that. Um, So the mouth is going to be white. White. There we go. And then that's done you got your Minecraft character in the cartoon. You could end it here if you want, but there's a little bit of a shading stage. You don't really have to do it. It can be skipped. It won't look bad if it's skipped, but it does make it look the slightest bit better. Um, but for now, we're going to just merge the cartoon version into the original pixel version. And then that shouldn't be a problem, because if you were to just delete the pixel version, you'll have lines surrounding it. But without doing that, it sort of fills that in for you, and it looks okay. If you really zoom in, you can see that you've got a little outline here, but don't worry about that. It, like the, Obviously, the image is too big, and if it's small like that, you're obviously not going to see it. If you're using it for big images, you might... Well, I don't think it'll be a big problem, to be honest. It's like literally just a pixel thick, um, not even all over as well. But oh well, that's that. Um, now just for a quick little thing, you're going to want to select the line tool again and draw a little bit there. Not in white, make sure the colour is black. And yep, you're going to just, you can just merge that back in, control and E. And there we go. That gives it sort of a little gritty teeth look. <laughs> now it looks really angry. Um, oh well. So here it is, we need to do the shading now. The shading is sort of the awkward part. I'm going to select this magic wand tool, it should look like that, default, click and hold, magic wand, click on the outline. Oh, damn it, I knew it would do that. <laughs> and for some reason, on mine it's like outline the hair as well. Um, that That's a little bit of a problem, it's not too much of a problem, but it could be better than what he had. So yeah, you wanna do that and you can see the hair. This is why also why you don't do jet black things. Because it could do this while it's happening to mine. And it's really annoying when it does. So I'm just gonna sort it out so the hair isn't selected. Right, so the fix for this, if this happens to you, if something's a slightly different colour but yeah, it's still selecting it all. Uh you wanna select the magic wand tool and this tolerance, you're just gonna put that to zero. And when you select it, it should avoid this bit uh, right here. So there we go. I've never actually done that before, so I had to just quickly work that one out. Right, anyway, the shading needs to be done now. Uh, so once you've got all the light selected, you're going to control and C. I, like, yeah, again, I don't know what this is from Mac. I don't use Mac. Um, so maybe someone in the comments will let you know. If you do know what it is for Mac, like all the shortcuts that I'm doing, just post a comment below. Um, and if you see someone who's posted the comment, give it a thumbs up so that's the top comment and like people will like not have to ask they'll just see what it is and it should be fine hopefully people will do that right so control C control and V right here we have the outline now back even though we've colored it in you might want to just duplicate the layer of the outline that would be easier to do but like I say I forgot to do that um, so anyways, this is the shading part. This is the part that's a bit difficult. If you can't do it, don't worry. You could like this looks fine as it is, doesn't it? Really, and the shading isn't really important at all. 
it's just something extra that might make it look a slight bit better so we're gonna select the color of the skin here um, and then we're gonna just make it slightly darker by just dragging it downwards and you can see it's just darker here and the weight you're gonna select the line tool the weight of the line is a hundred and make sure that's the color you just made down there and then we're gonna just draw it draw the line up so it hits that part make sure the layers below the outlining bit and then it shouldn't go over and you should be able to just do it like that make it look cool and then for the bottom part you're gonna do like the sort of angly sort of thing slightly angled like that and angled again and angled again and maybe one more time like that and that gives you a nice curve and then obviously you're going to do the same for the glasses select the color make it a little bit darker give out that and then do the same again up 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 bam that's cream still for some reason so select that like I say make sure you've done it right uh, there we go that looks good to me um, th you might have a little bit there but that can be fixed later don't worry about that uh, now we've got the hair um, is this going to change that bit to colour that a bit darker still not jet black no 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 whoa 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 it's doing that bit it's doing that bit right we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna merge all these together all the shading bits so far into one so it's no longer a shape layer um it just stops that from happening uh so then we're gonna just do the same here bring the layer up bam oh that can't be seen can it it's a bit weird maybe make that a bit darker there we go and then do the same effect as what was done on the bottom but here this time and there we go you should have a nice looking shading effect going off control and E should merge it all together and this is what it should look like now if you zoom in close you can see that we've got some bits going over because it's just a big square but that can be fixed by just selecting the color of the gray getting the paint tool going over that and then the same down here it didn't really work out properly down here we can just sort of carry that on with the paint brush tool and voila there we go this is done now we got the slight shade at the side which makes it look a little bit better uh, we can now merge it all together um, and claim success upon the Minecraft character you've just done. Here it is. Um, so I hope this tutorial helped. Thank you for watching and goodbye.